Class 9, Combining Work or School While Breastfeeding If you plan to return to work or school after your baby is born, you can still breastfeed. Your breast milk can continue to give your baby unparalleled protection from illness, and you'll still be able to experience the closeness with your baby that only breastfeeding provides. In this class, the slides will refer to returning to work, but these suggestions are applicable when you're going back to school or whenever you find yourself separated from your baby for any length of time. Take as many weeks off as you can. At least six weeks of leave can help you recover from childbirth and settle into a good breastfeeding routine. Twelve weeks is even better. For the first three or four weeks, breastfeed exclusively. Use this time to enjoy nursing your baby and establish a healthy milk supply. Practice expressing your milk by hand or with a quality breast pump. Freeze two to three ounces at a time to save for your baby after you return to work. Talk with your family and your child care provider about your desire to breastfeed. Let them know that you'll need their support. Before you go out on maternity leave, it's a good idea to understand the returning to work options that allow you to spend the maximum time with your baby. If it is possible in your situation, could you consider coming back to a temporary part-time schedule? Is a job share that is a full-time position shared with another working mother available? Is working from home an option? Some employers may offer a flexible schedule, so the employee can work longer hours each day but take another day off to compensate. Working mothers often breastfeed as much as they can while they're at home with their babies and then pump while they're at work. Does your employer have a private room where you can express your milk? Is there a designated area to safely store your pumped milk? Again, it is best to know this information prior to going out on maternity leave. Many people are not aware that the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act, also known simply as the Affordable Care Act, or ACA, requires employers with 50 or more employees to provide reasonable break time for an employee to express breast milk for one year after the child's birth when such employee has a need to express the milk. Employers are also required to provide a private place other than a bathroom, which may be used by an employee to express breast milk. When meeting with your employer, tell him or her you plan to breastfeed and will need some private time and a private place to express your breast milk. In an eight-hour work shift, you'll need to express your milk at least two to three times. Expressing your milk takes about 10 to 15 minutes if you're using a good quality electric breast pump, which we'll discuss momentarily. Work with your supervisor to find a private place and time to express your milk. Many women take their regular breaks and lunch breaks to pump. Some women come to work early or stay late to make up the time needed to express milk. Is there somewhere to store the express breast milk or will you need to take a small cooler to work? Breast milk is food, so it's safe to keep in an employee refrigerator or a cooler with ice packs. Choosing a child care provider who supports your decision to breastfeed will be one of your top priorities when planning your return to work. You may be able to locate a provider close to your workplace so you can breastfeed your baby during your break time. You'll want to choose a child care provider who understands the importance of breastfeeding and will assist you in providing breast milk for your baby. Planning ahead for your return to work will make the whole process go smoother. For the first month or so, breastfeed exclusively to establish a plentiful milk supply. Become familiar with your breast pump before you return to work. Open the box, read the instructions, wash all the parts, and begin practice pumping. Don't worry about how much milk you get during these first few pumping sessions. You can save and store the milk you get. Just remember, it takes practice using a breast pump before you will begin getting adequate amounts of pumped milk. About two weeks before your return to work date, begin building a supply of breast milk to store by pumping between breastfeeding sessions. This is the milk your child care provider will give to your baby while you're away. It's a good idea to have a trial run with your child care provider about a week before you return to work. It helps you get used to the idea of being separated from your baby, and it gives your baby and caregiver time to get to know each other. Returning to work on a Wednesday or Thursday makes the first week of your return a short work week. Many mothers will admit this is a tough adjustment period. It is difficult being away from your little one for this extended period, recognizing the amount of time you have just spent together. Easing back with a shorter work week can help with this adjustment. 
This gives you time to catch your breath on the weekend before starting into a full work week. The Affordable Care Act, or ACA, was signed into law in 2010. There are many parts of the ACA, but one of the most valuable is the provision that requires commercial health plans to cover breastfeeding support and supplies. Many health plans began implementing this coverage on or after August 1, 2012. Be sure to contact your insurer to understand what benefits you can receive. The Medela website offers information on ACA, as well as the questions to ask your insurer. Medela offers a variety of breast pumps to meet your lifestyle needs and help you reach your breastfeeding goals. A double electric pump is most efficient for a full-time working mother. Check out the link shown on the screen. Click Select Your Breast Pump to find out which breast pump would work best in your situation. Here are some tips for using the breast pump to get maximum results. It helps to get in a comfortable and relaxed position and breathe deeply several times. Bring a picture of your baby and keep it with your breast pump. Before you pump, take out the picture and think about your baby. Some mothers bring a piece of baby's clothing and smell it before they pump. Headphones with soothing music can help you focus on relaxing. Have a drink of water or juice nearby. It's normal to be thirsty when you're pumping or breastfeeding. Before you begin pumping, massage your breasts for about a minute in a circular motion from the chest wall outward. This helps release the milk-making hormones into the bloodstream. Once you begin pumping, adjust the suction to the highest level at which you're still comfortable. Too much suction is painful and can reduce the amount of milk you pump, and too little suction can also decrease your milk output. Try to use the breast pump as often as your baby would normally breastfeed, about every two to three hours ideally. The more milk that's removed from your breast, the more milk you'll produce. Again, breastfeed as often as possible when you're home with your baby. The more you breastfeed your baby when you're together, the greater your supply will be when you pump. Depending on your schedule, try more frequent evening, early morning, or weekend feedings. If you have a predictable schedule, you might ask your child care provider to avoid feeding your baby during the last hour of care so that you can breastfeed your baby as soon as you arrive. This will give you both time to reconnect before traveling home. At work, make pumping a priority and protect your pumping time. Some mothers find it helpful to pump as soon as they get to work. Remember to store your milk in small amounts so that none will be wasted. Clean your breast pump parts and allow them to dry thoroughly before storing. Keeping an extra kit or extra pump parts at work can come in handy. Try to make pumping at work as simple as possible. Medela has breast milk feeding products to support you once breastfeeding is well established. The Calma feeding system was designed for exclusive breast milk feeding. Calma is unique because your baby controls the milk flow. It allows your baby to feed, pause, and breathe, similar to breastfeeding, making it easier to switch from breast to bottle and back again. Congratulations, Mom! Working and breastfeeding is not easy. It takes commitment and planning, but it's well worth the effort for you and your baby. Remember, there will be a period of adjustment. Again, be patient with yourself. And most importantly, enjoy your sweet baby. As you're successful with breastfeeding and returning to work, your breastfeeding relationship continues and changes slightly as you breastfeed your older baby.